How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and this is another disc die. I'm super excited because the disc we have today is the new RPM Discs Pekka Pekka. Yes, it's in my hands. First run. Uh, this is a beautiful disc. Super excited. I haven't ever died any RPM so this should be quite exciting. This one is in a beautiful milky white clear uh, cosmic plastic. So if you're not familiar with RPM plastics, um, the cosmic plastic is their premium translucent. So think of like your champion or your Z plastics. And this one feels really good. Now this is not a review. I will review this, get it out onto the field, give it some throws. But before we do that, I'm really keen to dye it. So let's head down to the dyeing setup and see how we go. All right guys, we're back here with the dyeing setup. Uh, this one's going to be pretty straightforward, I think. Uh, I've been thinking of different designs for our disc. And uh, one thing that I haven't really achieved is some really bold, strong colors on a, on a disc. So I'm going to aim for that with this one. I think some really strong spirals, alternating colors going into the middle, because it'll kind of like radiate out like from the bat's wings. Uh, and then I might just do some swirls to kind of blend them together a bit and make it a bit swirly, because I really like swirl dyes. Um, in terms of colors, I, I'm still pretty limited to what I've got, but uh, probably like some black, um, blue, some orange. I love, I love that blue and orange, purple orange kind of combination. And then I think I've also got the uh, powder still, so I might sprinkle some orange powder just to give it some flex throughout it. So that's what we're going to go for. So still got some clear glue, going to use that one. I think the glue bed gives it a good result. Oh, this one's... I know, tricked me. Got that little cap on. So I still don't have a uh, torch, which is really handy because a torch can get rid of the bubbles, but actually this is quite good. No bubbles here. Not sure how much we'll need. There's a few bubbles forming. I reckon that should be enough. A little bit more there. Got to make sure you have enough to get to the edge of the rim, but you don't want to be wasteful because everything's a limited resource and you don't want to be wasting it. That should be okay, I hope. Might have to uh, go to the shop and get some more running out. Speaking of running out of dye, I've got a spare disc that I'm thinking of doing after the Pekka Pekka using the old bed of this die, which could be really cool. I've never recycled a bed before, but uh, you know, there's a first time for everything and now's a good chance. Oh, I'll just add a little bit more. Don't want to be too sparing. Just around that edge. Looks like you can add a bit more. That'll do it, I think. Now, honestly, I'm pretty happy with these bubbles. Got my old pen. They look kind of, yeah, they're, they're at the bottom. They're at the bottom, so I'm stoked with that. That's fine, no dramas at all. Okay, so what's the rim gonna be? I think it should be black. I'm gonna do a black rim. No gloves today, gonna live on the edge. Always got soap and water. So a black rim, could be quite cool. Now before I drop it in, Gonna make sure that I'm happy with the width. Should be okay. Definitely gonna be pushing the limits of the edge of that glue, so. I know that I said I gotta be sparing, but really just gotta make sure I don't, um, you know, miss the edge of that disc, because it'd be a bit disappointing if I do. There we go. That should be it. Now I'm gonna be pretty generous with this black around the edge. Really load it up. Yeah. I am running out of this, so may need to <laughs> make another concoction. I'm pretty rough when it comes to making my mix. This is uh, Ido Poly mixed with acetone. 
So nothing too fancy. Wouldn't even be able to tell you the ratio, to be honest. Here we go, We've already run out. That should be enough though. I think that's all I'm gonna use. Hopefully it's strong enough. Now, what's next? I don't really want to go to orange because I think that'll be a bit brown. So maybe lilac is next. It's kind of cool how some of the bubbles kind of, whoop, that bled. How some of the bubbles uh, kind of skim across the edge of the, or the surface of the glue. There we go. Now orange. Be interesting to see what happened here because the lilac bled into the black. I find that with a glue bed and acetone, um, the colors do tend to, like they don't hold their own on the surface. They do kind of bleed in, which is cool when you want that. But when you want to have more distinct colors like this, you can see there, it's very much bleeding in. Which is, I guess, good for marble dyes. Maybe the technique I'm doing here is better for a lotion bed. Okay, now blue. Yeah, that's like bled right to the rim. Kind of going square here. <laughs> Not quite a circle anymore. Oh, we're getting some real movement. It's kind of cool though. And now in the center, we'll go gunmetal. Got some real bleeds here, bleeding all together. Now I'm not sure if I should use this spoon to kind of make waves all around it, or if I should use the skewer to be a bit more deliberate. Hmm. Oh, tricky. I think we'll go spoon. I might just rotate it as I go. That's pretty cool. It's getting a bit muddy though. Definitely losing the orange. But I think it'll be okay. I can still see separated colors. I hope that when I put the disc on, it just doesn't smush together because that's definite, whoop, that's a definite risk. Lose, losing a spot there. Just get those colors to drift into that spot. Yeah, it looks like it. That should do. Some spots here that could, yeah. The lilac and the black have definitely just bled straight together. I want this to be pretty much full coverage, no white spots. There we go. There's a really cool patch out here, I reckon it's gonna be good. Wipe that off. Now we'll do the middle bit. Get that blue and gunmetal together. Drifting into the orange. Yeah, I'm not convinced about this orange. I think this is going to be a very solidly coloured disc, but it might not be, uh, might not feature the colour separation that I was after. It would mostly be marbling, which, hey, it's fine by me. I love a marble disc. We've got no orange up in this corner. It's actually going to be pretty sick, I think. Just kind of do that for the middle. Now I'm going to go back in with a little bit of orange, just because I do want it to have those highlights of orange. I really want to make sure that it's not missing out on anything. If there are any spots where I know 
it's, it just needs that pop of orange. I'm gonna like really lay it in there. Oh, this is gonna be sick. There's some few spots that don't have dye. I don't mind that to be honest, because you're gonna see the clear of the of the disc come through, and I I don't mind that. I honestly don't mind that. Had a good drop there. Good drop there. Oh, this is gonna be sick. Yes. Might be a little bit muddy to be honest, but I think it'll work out real nice. Not quite the circle. But hey, nothing's ever perfect. That's pretty cool. If we want to add anything else, maybe just these orange flecks. I think. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll come out nice. It's, uh, whoa, look out. We are tipping out the die, which is not great. It's uh, opened up inside here. Can we get some on a stick? Oh, maybe just the back side of this spoon. I'm gonna use the hole, actually no, I'm just gonna use the hole in here just to tap it on. Some orange flex. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know how potent the flex are. I'm just gonna do it around the rim. Oh yeah, that is sick. And then a little bit in the middle. There we go. All right, I'm gonna take a photo of this so that you can see what it looks like before I put the disc in. I have to work quick here. Get some nice shots. Ooh, there's a big gap here. I'm not sure how that happened. So I'm gonna just quickly touch that up before we drop it in. Make sure it's nice. I'm gonna add a little bit of a lilac there as well because that's, I think, what's, what's in that zone. There we go. Maybe it's just a little bit high in that point. So, my photo won't be exactly what I dropped it into, but it should give you a reference. I wonder why that happened. Here we go. Just squiggle that out a bit. Add a little bit more orange there. This orange is leaking into the center, which is not what I want. Go back. There we go. And I'll add a bit more of this. Just to orange it up. Okay, quick, another photo. Not very well planned, I apologize, but. Okay, time to drop it. Alrighty. Any way you want. Three, two, one. There we go. I'm gonna push it in so it gets up to the rim. It's flowing. It's flowing strong. Obviously, there's a lot. Oh, it's come over the rim a bit. I don't mind that. I think it's kind of cool. Just over the rim. There we go. I'd have pushed it in a bit too much. I have to experiment with how much I push it in. But I reckon that's gonna be real nice. Hopefully it just hasn't all bled together and we don't get a brown gray disc, but I'm confident. I think that should be quite fun. Okay, next step. Do we put something on top? keep it down. And I 
think the answer is yes. So I'm just gonna put the cap on some of these, make sure there's no dye dripping off them. And I'll just put a couple down, maybe three. Just to make sure it stays nice down in the die. Cool. Now I think this one will do for about 24 hours, so the same time tomorrow I'm going to come down and we'll take it out of the die. Should be exciting. We'll see you when I pull it out. Good morning guys. We're here the next day. It's um, just past 8 o'clock, so it's been in the die for about 22 hours so I think it's about time we can jump in and take it out. Now I'm a little bit nervous about this one because it has kind of just turned to black around the disc so I'm not quite sure what it's going to look like underneath the disc um, but we're just going to gently take it out. I'm going to try to reuse this bed again if it's not too muddy. So we're going to take it out of the die and then scrape it into this uh, container. So here we go. Trying to be gentle, not to disturb the bed too much. I'm definitely going to get dye in my hands, but I think that's just going to be a bit of a sacrifice for the convenience of not wearing gloves. Come on, buddy. There we go. That's, not, that's pretty good. Whoa. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Okay, it's definitely got some color separation there on the disc. I just hope that it's got onto the disc because at the moment it looks like it's still floating uh, in the die. Yeah, see that's what I'm worried about. Oh no, it is on the disc, that's good. Orange is definitely pushed out to the edge though. I'm kind of scraping it off with the knife. So maybe don't use a knife, but we're learning here. I'm surprised it's scraping it off. Maybe if I give this a rinse, it's all gonna come off. Okay, and now I'm gonna get really messy. Just use some paper towels for the rest. And hopefully it doesn't all come up because it looks really good right now. Let's see. Yeah, it's just smearing off. Some of it's still on. Hmm, maybe Atomic doesn't, is that Atomic? Cosmic doesn't die as well as I thought it might. Or maybe just I die is not ideal for it. But anyway, I'm gonna run this under the tap. Some nice hot soapy water and we'll see if there's any dye left on the disc at all. Fingers crossed. <laughs> all right, we're back up here in the studio and I've cleaned off the peck pecker and it's really not what I expected. Um, have a look, because it's still really cool. I'm stoked on that. It's like purpley motley clouds, which is awesome because it looks like it's you know, the, the Pekka Pekka's flying through the clouds. So yeah, it's it's a really cool dye. It's really subtle. I haven't had a lot of luck with these kind of transparent, clear, milky white plastics. Um, I've done some West Side Worlds and they just kind of come out in this like really you know, desaturated, pale dye. It's still going to be transparent because it's the plastic, but it's just not really highly saturated. I mean, I've seen some kind of dyes that just are super, super saturated. When the light comes through, it's just like really glowing. But this is just a little bit, just a little bit subtle. It's really nice though. So anyway, good experiment. Um, I've, I've read that sometimes you can let the dye sit for too long and it kind of fades out. I don't really know how that works because you know, you would think the longer you leave dye on something, the stronger it gets, but maybe it's true. Um, but yeah, I mean, great practice. I still think it came out well. It didn't look as good as it did when I full, first pulled it out of the bed. Like, it looks so strong there. 
Um, maybe the die is like sinking into the glue, not really contacting the disc. I'm not sure. There's a lot of variables. There's so many variables when it comes to dyeing, but at least, you know, pretty much nine times out of ten, you're gonna get a result that looks like something. May not be not may not be what you wanted, but at least you know you've come up with something, and it looks pretty cool. So anyway, that's my Pekka Pekka. Um, we're gonna take it out soon to do a re review. Um, and I think we might head down and do another die using the same bed because hey, why not? I've got a spare disc, give it a go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've really enjoyed it. As always, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me do. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Catch you later, guys.